So iterative versus incremental life cycle. See here, iterative life cycle provide continuous in the product or service or the result, whatever it is, the outcome of your product, right? And at the end of the project, the final product will be delivered to the customer. But throughout the iteration, there will be continuous refinement based on the customer feedback. Now, in the incremental life cycle, it makes progress through a small increments. In other words, you can say it works on the principle of MD, minimal viable product. Can you give the main difference here? Continuous refinement and here a small increments. Iterative approach allows feedback for unfinished work for correctness of solution. While incremental development life cycle are best when a speed of delivery is necessary. Again, did you get here? Means it will allow the feedback. You will be getting feedback from the customer on unfinished work, right? And of course, the another difference for here incremental when you want to deliver means customer wants something urgently. He wants deliverables at every at end of every iteration. You can use the incremental development life cycles. Now you can see here. I hope everyone have been seen this picture. It's very popular. And this is Mona Lisa picture. And I don't know why it is so expensive. Right? It's sold out in the millions, I think. I'm not sure. But it's, it's one of the expensive paintings in the world. So let's understand if you have this Mona Lisa painting project. And now you need to determine which method will be best suitable for completing this Mona Lisa painting, right? Yes. Okay. So what you can see here, here, the vision, the thoughts, okay? And now by having this vision to have this Mona Lisa painting, a complete a sketch you can see here, means this is the complete prototype of the Mona Lisa painting. Mm. And you have asked the customer, see this prototype. Is it okay? Or do you want to change the position of hands, face, or anything? The sketch is okay. He may say, yeah, fine. Or he may say, no, just move the, change the positioning of the hands, right? He may say, or he may say, it's fine, whatever you have picked. Next, what you are going to do? If you are using the iterative cycle, then I'm talking about, if you are using the iterative life cycle, so here you will be painting this whole picture. You'll be putting a layer of the paint on the whole picture, on the whole picture. And again, you are inviting this person here. Please come and look. Do you have any feedback? Do you want any modification in it? Do you want any change in it? Please take your time and let us know. So customer, of course, he is the person at in going to take over this picture, right? And you have to build according to him. So he will, whatever thing, he will give you the feedback, whether it's okay or want to change something. And let's assume if you will say it's fine, then you are moving here. Let's say if you will say no, put the more layer on it, okay? Or maybe change the color, or maybe put another color here and different color here. Or different color hair or different color hair of yeah. the color of the hair so this is refinement you are again refining it and once again you are invited so once he will be saying it's fine you are moving here and putting the final paint over the picture over the whole picture now can you relate this statement continuous refinement means here you are not delivering not delivering anything you are just getting the feedback and based on that feedback, you are refining until you are getting the correct product. So here, right. finally, you got the correct product. Now, let's consider you are using the incremental life cycle to develop this Mona Lisa painting. So here, it's your vision. Okay. Now, since what will be changed here, your customer do not want, let's say, duration of 
this overall work let's say 6 so your customer do not want to wait until 6 month to give the final product he is saying my dear i have this painting and i want it maybe it will take 6 months to 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 deliver complete whole picture but i want something but even the portion of the picture so that i can use it on my website or i am going in any exhibition i can show this to the people that this is in progress and coming sure if you want to book it please go ahead and register it the delivery date will be after 6 months or after 3 months so can you see here the benefits of using this incremental method so this is what you did as per the customer requirement you have determined that the best method in this situation would be increment so this overall picture you have divided in n numbers of iteration so you have selected let's say here you have selected only face part and you have completed this overall face including a sketch to first layer second layer final layer whatever you have completed this only head portion and you have delivered to the customer now the customer will be happy because he is going to show this trailer of movies right same thing we are doing here okay